okay, Comfy. It's okay, Poo Poo. Hello, baby. Look over here. Hey. Hi. Oh, you want to play? Hello, sweetheart. Okay, celebrate. I'm distracted by the, the doggy. Celebrating Armed Forces Day by supporting our local dog-loving military members. I love this program. I love everything about it. We're joined by Elisa Johnson, President Dogs on Deployment. Yes, thank you. And Hillary Ruff, Active Duty Navy Ambassador to Dogs on Deployment. And Ruff is your real last name. Ruff is my real last thank name, you. yes. We didn't plan <laughs> it that way. It just works out nicely. Uh, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Elisa, talk to me. Dogs on Deployment. Uh, these aren't like dogs are actually going into. This is something so unique that, you know, a lot of times our service members are going and they get deployed and what happens to the dog, the cat, their pets, right? So exactly. tell me about the idea for this whole thing and how it got started. Absolutely. Uh, my husband and I, we both served active duty in the mm -hmm. Marine Corps 11 years ago. We had a dog and we both had dual service commitments and yeah. we didn't have anyone to watch our dog and so we decided to start an organization that would help foster the pets of deploying mm -hmm. service members. So when you guys were deployed, where did your dogs end up actually back then? We found a relative yeah, that was willing yeah. to watch them and that kind of yeah. inspired the entire idea to create sure. an entire network of 40,000 volunteers across the country. That's amazing that yes. it's grown so much, yes. hasn't it? Uh, okay, Hillary, tell me. I already made friends, I think. With, I know you want to come <laughs> play with me, puppy. Introduce our friend. Um, this is Nala Blue Ruff and she won Military Pet of the Year. Um, last year as the mascot for Dogs on Deployment. Um, part of That's the not reasons... fair. That's a very good looking dog. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's not fair to other she... dogs. I mean, there, look at those eyes. The other competitors were quite, quite, there was one that was, I know. There was, one that was okay. on a surfboard and it's just, I don't remember the name. There was a dog on a surfboard? Yes, yes, and it was awesome. Um, oh my goodness. But um, the reasonings why um, I feel like we, we yeah. won and we became the ambassadors is because um, <laughs> Service members like myself have yeah. not only used dogs on deployment, but we've, sure. we've given back. Um, one of the things being, um, Nala's sister had a $10,000 surgery that we needed help oh, with. Wow. Dogs yeah. on deployment gave $5,000 back to us to help with that. Um, back when I was stationed in Virginia um, 10 years ago, um, Nala, I had nowhere to go. My roommate was going to be underway the same amount of time, and there was a three week time frame yeah. where I had the ability. Um, to use dogs on deployment to have a volunteer. I was going to ask you what it means because you hear Elisa's story and that inspired this whole thing. Um, it's some, the one less thing you have to think about. You know, your dogs will be well taken care of and you don't have to be concerned and make a thousand phone calls and who can take it? It's a big commitment for whoever's yes. family member or not, right? So that means, that must mean a lot to you, right? Absolutely. I tell everybody, this is my firstborn. So, Aww. you know, yeah. to, to know like you have to, you know, leave her with somebody that you trust and, sure. you know, these people are willing to give back to, you know, service members like us and it's awesome. um, it means a lot yeah I love it uh, so what are you guys doing in San Diego to help local military families how do they get in touch how do how do you guys help them out yeah so San Diego is one of our biggest chapters yeah. being that we have such a large military population here I myself served active duty here uh, we do many programs here including a military uh, spay and neuter action project oh, wow. uh, where we will spay and neuter the pets of e4s and below so you can go to our website to learn more about that and we also have an amazing event coming Coming up on May 20th to celebrate Armed Forces Day, okay. uh, where we have headlining Haley Reinhardt, and we have a comedy lineup that you won't want to miss. And uh, all of the proceeds from this charity event is going to go to benefit local military That's families. That's amazing. Yeah, you said it's happening May 20th at yes. the New Children's Museum. Yes. That's a great place, by the way, to have an event like it this. It reminds <laughs> me of like yeah. a, a Navy ship, and that's why we chose <laughs> yeah. the location. Yeah, it's super cool. And how you doing down there? You good? You good? And she oh. and I will also be there oh, at the event. Well, that's so there you'll get to yeah. take photos Status. with Nala. <laughs> that's a, if folks want to help this organization, is there a way they can do it? Financial donation? They can't make it in person or anything like that? or what? Absolutely. We will be, um, thanks to our sponsor, Ethos Vet Health, uh, yeah. we will be live streaming the event. And you can use the coupon code awesome. FOX5. Go to our website and uh, get a discount on our general admission tickets. And the big thing that we have is... I was going to um, say, we're sitting here... Uh, Randomly, there's a really cool electric guitar you're holding. What is yes. that? Yes. Oh my gosh. This is a hand painted guitar done by Pamelina. She is a very well known and respected artist in yeah. the music community. And it's signed by Jennifer Batten, who played the guitar for Michael Jackson. Cool. And this is going to be auctioned off at our event. Oh my. A uh, highly collectible item. It's beautiful and it really represents what we do being the dog and the deployment. 
Look at that. They should put. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell them what to do, but look at how pretty. Uh, all the information on this great organization. You can find Dogs on Deployment and everything about the event going on. Uh, Fox5SanDiego.com. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think you should give us a cord or something. Little, little bird. Oh, little I, don't, I don't. I don't. It doesn't matter. I just. just like, <laughs> I wait, you, you know, got it in you. I need I someone this. from Rock and Roll Fantasy <laughs> Camp to be out here playing for me. I'm not. That's I'm no good. good. <laughs> Every guitar player says, why are you doing this? Because I'm always doing this. I'm like, no, no, no. You're not supposed to do that. Anyway, yeah. I'm not good enough. Uh, thank you <laughs> thank so much you for so much. And so much. the great work you guys do. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Keep it here. Thank we'll you. be right back.